Hi Angie here for MyNextTablet.com. Since a couple of days, there's an update to Android 12 L for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. I installed that update and now we're taking a look at the taskbar on the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus and the Galaxy Tab S8. All right, in front of me are the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, the 12.4 inch one, and then the 11 inch Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 and I installed Android 12 L on both tablets already. You can already see the taskbar here at the bottom. Now, once you install it, it doesn't appear immediately. You have to go to the settings and activate the taskbar. But first, let's go to the settings to confirm that this is the newest update. So we go to software information and there you can see it is Android 12 with One UI in version 4.1.1. And once you get the notification for an update, you can see uh, a detailed listing of what Samsung and Google changed, which is in German here right now because I installed it while having it set to German. So there are quite some um, changes, but the most important one are the taskbar, the multitasking changes, and that's what I'm going to show you now in this video. Now, to turn on the new taskbar at the bottom, we have to go to the settings, then we go to display, and then we go to taskbar. And here you can toggle it on and the taskbar appears down here. Now, we also need to turn on a couple of other settings for the new features. For this, we go to advanced features, to labs, and then we turn on swipe for pop-up view, and also we turn on swipe for split screen. We turn that on. Now, there's something else you might want to turn on depending on how you want to use your tablet. You can turn on multi-window for all apps, but I believe that feature was there already, that all apps, even if they don't support it, can be opened in um, multi-window view. And then also full screen and split screen view. Let me show you how a split screen looks at the moment, exactly like this. There's the taskbar at the bottom, and then we see some information at the top. And then when we go back to the settings, and of course we have to go to labs, then when you turn on full screen and split screen view, then it looks like this. So basically, you know, it's in a full screen as this uh, menu set. So that's something you can turn on or turn off depending on how you like it. But the main features I want to show you now are first of all the taskbar, which is here at the bottom. You can see it right here. If you want to have it disappear, you long press it at the bottom. And sometimes, you know, if you're in an app or in a game or something, it disappears on its own. But to get it back, you just long press here at the bottom again, and then it goes back. Now with the taskbar, you can easily open two apps side by side, or three apps side by side, or even more. We are in the Chrome browser now, and I want to open the files app next to it. So I select it, and then I can drag and drop it where I want it to appear. I want it next to it here and then it appears. Of course, we can also open another app, for example, the Google Play Store in a third view. This third view, like this three apps, you could open like this before, even before the update, just this taskbar and how you can open them. That's the new feature here. Now, if you want, you can save this view to the taskbar by pressing this little star and then add app pair to the taskbar, and then it appears here. I've got several pairs saved already, and so you can quickly uh, change between them. Now, these don't make much sense at the moment. What makes more sense is if you would have the browser here and Microsoft Office here, for example. This is just, well, an example. Now, let's go back, and then you can see the app row here, and that's exactly what we get with the taskbar. So if you take an app out of here and put it somewhere else, then it also disappears from the taskbar. So those apps are the same. Now, if you want to access another app that's not on the taskbar, you just hit these nine dots and then you can, yeah, then you get the standard app selector menu. There's something else that I noticed. I'm not sure if it's actually something new from Android 12 L, but you can switch between apps very easily like this just like you can do on iPad OS. Now, it might have been there before. I actually don't know if I used it before, but it's just something that 
I noticed while playing around with this UI. By the way, if you have the three N word buttons turned on instead of this gesture navigation, it looks like I will show you now on the Galaxy Tab S8. So if you don't have the gestures for navigating turned on, you get the three typical N word buttons here on the side, which I guess is a fine solution as well. Now, if you want to open an app in a split screen view, if you're going back to the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, you select the app and then you drag it not to any side, but you drag it to the middle and then it gets opened in a free floating window, in a pop-up view. So it's not the split screen view, it's a pop-up view. Samsung has been supporting this pop-up view for a very long time and everything you can do with it um, is still there. For example, you can adjust the transparency, which sometimes can be very handy when you're writing down something in Samsung Notes. And if you want to see a video in full screen view in the background, then that can be quite um, useful. But the pop-up view has been there, of course, and everything else, like you can open it in a full screen view or in a split screen view just by hitting those settings. Now, remember at the beginning, we turned on two gestures, and one gesture is to turn with just a gesture to turn any app into a pop-up view. For that, you swipe either from the right or the left side to the bottom and then to however you want it to have sized. And now this Chrome browser is opened in a pop-up view. And then of course you can change the size and it behaves like any other. You can also do it from this side, it's really the same. So that way you can easily open an app in a pop-up view without having to go to this multitasking view. And then you can turn it off, of course. The second gesture is with two fingers from the sides. With this, you open this split screen selector, and then you can open two apps side by side. And as usual, you can switch them, but that has been there already. That's nothing new. And by the way, this two finger gesture works from both sides. So that's very useful. Another thing that's new is inside is the keyboard. It's this kind of, I think it's called Komoji or something, some Japanese thing it's this. Like there's the standard emoji, and then if you press this, there the um, Komoji. It's some Japanese thing as far as I've read in the notes from Samsung. Now there's another interesting feature. Apparently, you can search in the Files app now not only for files names and other metadata, but also for something that's written inside these files. However, I tried that, so I'm searching for Samsung in the documents, and I have documents where it says Samsung, a PDF and a Word document, but now when I select search inside files, it doesn't find it. So I'm not sure why it doesn't work, but I tried to restart it. And I tried it with several files, like I've got PDFs in there and Word documents and then two different kinds of PDFs. They should work, but yeah, it doesn't work. So I'm not sure if I do anything wrong, but this searching inside of files doesn't seem to work properly. Maybe it does under certain situations that I don't know of at the moment, or maybe there's just a bug or you know something. This update seems to be quite new, I just read about it today. All right, so much about the Android 12 L update on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. I hope Samsung will release the update for the Galaxy Tab S7 FE and Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022 edition very soon. Usually they are really good with updates. All right, that's been a quick look at Android 12 L on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. If you have any questions, write them down below. I'm NJ from MyNextLevel.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.